everyone. Today we're going to make this simple and quick birthday card and uh, you know everyone's going to be bombarded with Christmas colors very soon so I wanted to make something uh, for our library class that's coming up actually tomorrow that uh, is quick and easy and not holiday related. Well birthday's a holiday I guess but you know what I mean. So anyway let's get started. Um, oh, I get this idea I saw on Pinterest, I forget who it was, that used these, but uh, did this kind of like this, but with the circles. Sorry for stuttering. Ooh. Okay. So I am using the Swirly Frames set from Stampin' Up. I just, I had to have this because, I, I don't know, I just had to have it. And I'm also using the Celebrate Youth Thinless Dies. Um, we're using the Celebrate and You, and there's also Amazing in there. So first you need a piece of Poppy Parade, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay. The next layer is Pineapple Punch, and this is four and a quarter by four. And we're just gonna adhere this quickly onto your card base. So it's a little bit off on the top, but that's all right. This is going to be one of my samples for class. Um, the next piece we have is Whisper White, and we're going to do some stamping on this. So I have the large square swirly frame uh, mounted on this block. This block is not stamping up, but I know they make one. And we're using a blueberry bushel stamp pad, and I'm going to just ink it up here. And I stamped right in the middle, and the beauty of this, these photopolymer stamps, as you can see right through them. There we go. Oops. And I'm going to close this. This one's a little, I like the old stamp pads a little better, but so you're just going to push this, push, pull, and flip, I guess, and then it closes. Okay, we'll put that to the side. The next one, I'm going to do some, I'll get this medium sized stitch square, and I'm just going to randomly stamp squares, about three, like so. And also, oh, and I'm sorry, this is Granny Apple Green, and this one's Pineapple Punch. This is the uh, rectangle, small rectangle. And again, I'm just gonna randomly stamp this. And eh, three's good enough on this one. All right, let me close these up so they don't get dry. Maybe. And I don't know about you, but when I craft, I have stuff everywhere. Okay. I'm going to move these to the side. So now we have this. So we're going to adhere this on the back of our pineapple punch piece. If you wanted to, you could sponge around the edges. Um, I don't want to right now. So I'm going to line this up here and stick it down. Okay. Now, the next thing I did was I punched out or not punched out, I'm sorry. I used the Big Shot and I cut these out. The Celebrate is in Poppy Parade and the U is out of Blueberry Bushel. So what we're gonna do is put some fine tip glue, I have one over here, on the back of the Celebrate here. And this comes out either in a huge glob or a tiny bit. So I'm just going to lightly I'm going to draw on here, and you don't have to hit every little section, I just kind of do the major ones and uh, go around like this, okay, and I'm going to pick this up maybe. 
And I'm going to adhere this kind of right in the middle, but at an angle. And I'm just going to lightly hold this down for a second. Just so that it sticks. Hopefully I put enough glue. Alright, while that's sticking, we're going to put uh, two mini dimensionals on the back of the U. So, and I'm going to put it between the O and the U and between the Y and the O. Kind of right at this junction. Take off the other ends. And I'm going to stick this down kind of right over the line. You could pretty much put it where you'd like. Okay, now you could be done there, but I happen to have these adhesive-backed um, sequins. These colors are actually retired, but there are other colors in the catalog. So these are kind of nice. And I'm going to use the new Pick It Up tool and get these off of here. So they have a little bit of glue on the bottom or the back of these. And I'll just randomly pick some up and put them down. Let's try one of these. I'll go like right there. Alright, well, let me put a few more because I have enough. Let's see. Let's put one over here. And we'll put one over here. Why not? Okay. Really, that's about it. So on the inside, you can write what you want to. And then don't forget to um, put a hallmark on the back. And I use this. This is also retired. This is handmade by. I'm not going to sell this card, so I don't need to have that. The one that says Stampin' Up! on the bottom. So I'm just going to my handmade by on the back here and I don't have a pen here so I'll just use a regular pen I usually just put my initials and the year and we're good all right so if you like this video give me a thumbs up you can subscribe um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns suggestions comments, uh, leave them below. And thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.